just wanted to start this video by wishing everybody a happy new year. I know that some people think we are past the point of being allowed to wish each other happy new year, but you know what? It's January 20th, happy new year. I hope this year brings us all what we need so that we can learn the things that we're supposed to learn and um, find our way a little bit further down the path that we are meant to walk. So I just wanted to film a very short video to address something. I've got a lot of people who come to me when they are going through rough moments so that they can get a little bit of insight on how to navigate these moments. And I believe that our own response, or only rather responsibility when, when life gets a little bit difficult is to not see the difficulties as fires that we are supposed to put out, but rather opportunities to reinterpret or to change the way we approach these circumstances. We live in a very literalist society and we tend to take things very literally. Um, if this is happening, then that's all that's happening. But I believe that when something occurs in our, li in our lives, rather, especially when it's something that is extreme, it is an opportunity for us to look at not necessarily the details, but the fact that this is, and to see it symbolically. To ask why this is. And not just why this is in the grand scheme of things, why this is for me. I believe that the things that happen to and around us are happening to and around us for us specifically. We are meant to learn from these things. If it arises within your realm of awareness, it is yours. It is yours to interpret. It is yours to learn from. It is coming into your story, your sphere of consciousness on purpose. So, when things start to get heavy, and when things start to get real, and when things start to get anything other than fantastic, or comfortable, or dealable, I don't want to have, I don't want people to interpret this as, as oh, okay, I'm not going to partake in it. I'm going to step back and, and, and just observe it and sort of stay silent and, and just wait for it to pass. It's not that at all. We need to participate. We need to do the work. Do the work that comes to you. That is straight from the Bhagavad Gita. With that said, do it with the proper tools. When things start to get heavy, the first question, why is this happening? And not as a victimization tool in order to feel like, oh, woe is me, everything happens to me. Why is this coming to me in my sphere of awareness, awareness rather, at this moment, and what am I meant to learn? What are the lessons that I am meant to learn from this? Patience? Okay. Um, tolerance? Fantastic. Whatever it is, there is something there for every single one of us. And if we reinterpreted how we see difficulty as an opportunity to learn the big lessons that we need to learn in order to move further and further down our own spiritual evolution, we would stop dreading them. We would stop being afraid of uh, the tough moments. And we would start to, number one, predict that they will show up, not predict, but we, 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 we understand that they are part of life, part of a human life. There will be good moments, there will be bad moments. And when the bad moments show up, we can take a step back and move into the realm of the observer and go, okay, I knew this was coming. Perfect. In the grand scheme of things, why is this happening now? What am I meant to learn? And try and stay in the realm of the observer again while still actively participating but watching the whole thing like it's a movie that's unfolding before you that you get to participate in ask yourself how can you show up in this film with your feet on the ground your head in the sky your head still in faith still in hope understanding this is a moment how do we navigate these moments we stay connected to our own breathing we stay connected to intention and ultimately we understand that all of this is happening for a much bigger reason than we potentially can even grasp in any given moment. We need to trust and we need to have faith and we need to keep going. So for this year, for 2016, I want you to welcome the difficulties. And when they show up, don't look at it as an opportunity or, or don't look at it rather as um, 
well, an opportunity to play victim and to uh, take off and bolt and run away from it. I want you to look at every single difficulty or challenge that comes to you this year as an opportunity to grow and to learn. Understand that success, when seen through a spiritual lens, um, is measured by how much you have learned, not what you own. And so every difficulty that comes our way is an opportunity to succeed in our own lives and to not only do it for ourselves, but to show others how it can be done and thereby inspire. And then we start to uh, allow our individual experience to affect the collective. And that's really what this is all about. So happy new year. I hope 2016 brings you I shouldn't say I hope it brings you tons of difficulties, <laughs> but I hope that 2016 um, brings you the presence of mind to be able to recognize these moments when they appear and to be able to rise to the occasion and handle them like the unbelievably intelligent beings that we already are. Happy New Year.